we were having a very uh, interesting conversation before this podcast started um, that I wanted to, to just bring it back and let's 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 let the people hear it. Let's just name all the NBA players because we were talking about who in the NBA. Everybody getting the scuffles in the NBA, but everybody ain't trying to fight, right? So let's yeah. name some NBA players who are actually about that shit. NBA players who are actually finna go as Blake could say. What, what was it? What's Blake say? Uh, uh, and fight and fight him and, and punch somebody. Yeah, but who who are some NBA players who are actually finna get down? Let's name some. I know one. The more the Morris twins are a lot for sure. Harry Rozier. Oh yeah, yeah. Harry Rozier. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he he be set tripping in middle of the game. Uh, John Wall. I think John Wall. I think John Wall about it. Uh, let's see who else. Montrez Hero. I think him. I think he'll he'll go and hurt somebody. He one of the last dudes I want to fight if I was in the NBA for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. I think I think Carmelo got hands. Yo, yeah, Me- Melo is yeah, crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Um, um, another dude, another dude they said was kind of unassuming, but they said he was actually erratic was DeMar DeRozan. They said, I remember Vince Staples, yeah. Vince Staples had an interview on, I forgot what channel it was, but they were talking about what they literally were talking about this particular topic. And then when they brought up DeMar DeRozan, I think it was on the ringer, they brought up DeMar DeRozan. Vince Staples was like, oh no, DeMar DeRozan erratic as hell. So he's one dude. And I seen how he got it. Lance, remember Lance Stevenson made that little layup at the end of that one, like Pacers Raptors game. Remember the Marvel? Yeah, I was like, okay, he that he that's some hood shit. I was like, oh, Damn. but what, what we call it that time? We call that manufactured anger. I couldn't stand that shit. I was like, y'all, I can't stand that's like the 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 scoring that's late it. when you're already up. Like, shut up. That's yeah. like I hate I hate when they do that shit. You didn't want him to score, you should have won the game. That's how I feel. Facts. I remember Chris yeah. Weber. Somebody I'm, did it once. My bad, Carl. Somebody did it once. And Chris yeah. Weber was like, dunk it harder. <laughs> uh, nah, that's I remember. That's I don't know. Fun. That's where the manufactured anger came from. I, I like it, but this is manufactured anger. My uh, yeah, I remember. Uh, Chris Paul did something. I don't know if you all remember this. And Dame tried to grab the ball from him at the end of the game, and he got mad. Did Did Chris Paul try to score or something? Chris Paul, about? I think Chris Paul did. He steal the ball late I in the game. Was, yeah. Something. Uh, yeah. yeah, something. He stole the ball, and then ever since then, Dame has been in a state form commercials. Mm-hmm. So. That's like the pettiest. Yeah, so. That's the pettiest. Yeah, thing. Chris Paul. Uh, we talking about people that throw hands. Rajon Rondo. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. Rondo's never turned yeah. out to fade in the NBA game. I've never seen him do it. Um, oh, who else? Let's see, man. Are there any more other All Stars who would get down? Uh, Nikola Jokic. Yeah, I think so. I don't think he got hands though. I think he's just bigger. Than I, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'll be yeah. honest. Yeah. I don't know if he got hands, but he's crazy. Cause I remember what he did to Morris. Low key, he should have he should have missed a set of my. I don't know if he missed any games for that, but M- Morris was out for a minute after he pushed him like that or whatever. Nikola Jokic is low key yeah. crazy. I don't know if he got hands, yeah. but he's crazy on the low. Y'all he pushed so? him, but correct me if I'm wrong. I think uh, Morris did. Did he push him first? I think <clears> I don't look at that. I gotta go back and look because I, I say, don't see I don't see I don't see Joker just doing that. I'm beyond it. True. Yeah, that's true. I'll say. Uh... I say James Johnson. I think he's got. Some oh stuff. yeah, that Nick. He, he's, he's got he knows stuff. karate. He yeah, knows karate. Yeah, I remember that because I remember he got into a little scuffle with Ben Simmons. I think a couple, couple, two, three years ago, playoff series. So he, yeah. he's got some. He's got some screws missing. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mess with James Johnson at all. He he said he's like legit um, black belt. So he's but, on that list yeah. of people <laughs> that I, I don't think I'd want to. No. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he's and he's an NBA yeah. size. He's like NBA small forward size. That's scary. Yeah, it was yeah. Like six eight. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's a big dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you all think um you all think Pat Bev can fight for real? Or is it a show? It's a good quest actually. I really. feel like he's scra- I, I feel like he's a scrap. Feel like he's scrappy. If it came down to it, I think yeah, I think so. Me too. I think so. Because I think if you're if you're a, when you see guys play that like tough guy ass role and do that scrappy shit, then they've got to have some level of like I'm gonna get. I'm actually gonna back it up at some point. I think Pat Bell. I think Pat Bell may have hands. One dude that plays that tough guy role. I don't think it's tough. I don't think Draymond Green can fight like that. Oh no, I don't see it. No, I don't either. He and he plays that. And as as no. much as he fouls the shit out of people, he should be able to. But I don't think he's really about to get out for real. Because he be. Thank I you. Thank you. This- no. No, I'm about to say thank you for admitting he'd be fouling a lot of people. I mean, he can play a little defense. I, I'll be honest, he can still play defense, but he also fouls the hell out of people all the time. Okay, this is, I got a good one. Uh, John Moran, what y'all think? Oh, I don't know. No, 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 no. That's a fake thug right there. No, 
I was just talking to him about that. that, that, that I said, literally, he yeah, he literally little, texted me that the other day. He's he started to act a little different when he started getting a little accolades. And he act like that when he, he was humble when he came in the league. Now he wanna he wanna you know show out a little bit. Well, I mean, once, once Jesus. You, get, you know, once you get to a certain point, you know, you gotta you know, no, no, you don't. But no, you it's, it's, it's one saying. Movie. It's one saying. It's you one never, saying. Stay humble, young man. That's what they say. Well, That's all they say. But I mean, you never know. He could have been like that before he got to the league. And just kind That's of true. Play. We didn't. We didn't really know. We didn't really. Yeah, very true. Man, I I saw buddy. I saw buddy in a bright college shirt once with some school preppy uh shorts on one time in the picture. <laughs> he ain't no hood. Yeah, I mean, that don't mean anything. You can you can. No, I can spot. Uh, I can tr- I can spot. I can spot a fake hood dude. Nah, no but way. you you can go to all Jeez. the private schools you want to, and, and you you don't know about that that home life, nigga. That's that's, that's true. Look at look at now. You can still you can still you can still you can still, you can still be a hood to go to a prep school. Like it happens all the time. But Jai's the the difference at how he act when he was a rookie versus now. To me, I, that's why I'm like, nah, he not. I think it, that- it's too different. Yeah, I think that's the issue people have with Ja right now. Is is Ja too cocky? And like I said, I don't. I'm not. I don't. I don't have a. I don't think he's doing anything that a young a young star NBA point guard who's as flat. Like he's probably the most entertaining player in the NBA right now. To be honest, maybe maybe next to Steph. I personally, me, it, it is different from where we saw him coming to the league as. But as he's doing more shit and he's backing it up. I don't have a problem with it. And he, and he was also an MVP candidate. Like, if he would have been top five, I don't know if he was top five in voting, but he would have been top five if he stayed healthy. So I don't I don't have a problem with it, to be honest with you. I like it, especially if he's that flashy and that entertaining to watch. So mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah, I no, it's, it. it's, it's what the league needs. We don't need none of that, uh, none of that uh, oh, good game, you know, shaking hands, giving all the hugs and all that, shaking hands. Oh, good game. You did great. I wish I was on your team. I wish I was doing this. You know, what I'm saying, how about we go? Let, let's go eat after the game. I mean, it ain't nothing wrong with that, but still, I, I want to see some competition. This is why the NBA yeah, is no. hard knocks. That's my bad, but that the NBA needs a hard. I yeah. I, I would yeah. watch the shit out of a Grizzlies hard knock series. I really would. Mm-hmm. That's what you watch. That is very true. Cool. Yeah, no, it's yeah. It, it, yeah, he deserves to act that way, but it's like, damn, dude, you ain't act like this at first. Like it's some, it's a whole lot of dudes in the leagues that have improved. And it became MVP candidates in their third year. They don't act like that. Zion, Zion, okay, I know Zion's been like hurt or whatever, but Zion could probably act just like that as John Moran if he would stay healthy because he's just as good as John Moran, if not better. So, I mean, I mean, but you don't see everybody acting like that though, is what my point is. Yeah, but I mean, it's just personality was. You never know. Now, one dude who so should be, one, one dude who annoys me is the DeJounte Murray thing. Like, I get it, but this summer he was talking absolutely reckless. Like, he was doing a bunch of just, like... I feel like that's... No, he was. He's free from San Antonio. You can start to see his personality. True, true, true. Because I'm like, he was... he was, Okay, he was very quiet San Antonio, but I go back and look at... Cause it, quiet. I, yeah, and but in high school, he was, like, known for having the best handles in the country and all of that shit. So, like, he was a, he was a shit talker in high school. You know, so maybe it's starting to come back. A lot of these guys in high school were shit talkers, got to college, got to the NBA, got hum- humbled a bit, then they get really good in the league. So, like I said, it may not be a thing where they're just now doing this. They may have always been like this. It's just that now they're comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that, that's yeah. just down in San Antonio. Pop knows how to – he knows how to keep things on a – keep players, you know, humble and stuff like that, so. It's like yeah. Caleb. It's like Caleb Love. My back. It's like Caleb Love. Like his first year in North Carolina, we know how much shit that dude talks. So his first year in North Carolina, mm-hmm. he won. He won like what he was doing at CBC. But he got to that second year or that that junior year, he, he gained that. He started, he gained oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I just when he called himself Black Jesus, that's when that, that just. Oh, like, yeah. I'm talking about Ja. Yeah. That took me yeah. out. I'm like, dude, chill out. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's, that's, that's he was like, they the the. The waitress asked him who he was. He was like, are you some type of ball player or something? That's how she said it, too. Are you some type of ball player or something? He said, I'm Black Jesus. He, she said, what? Oh, my God, you play for the Grizzlies? That shit was annoying. I'm Black Jesus. Let's go. Okay, so I got a couple other guys, maybe. Um, hmm. Well, here's a dude that nobody just wants to mess with. I don't know if Steven has much of a fighter, but he's like the top dog in the NBA who nobody wants to fuck with. He's, he's, he's the just, strongest he, person in the league. He's yeah. just a big fan, that's all. Yeah. Any other names? Just like Joker. Um, Devin Booker. No, I'm just playing Devin Booker. Yeah, Devin Booker ain't about that shit. He be he fake. I said he got a fake deep voice. I still feel that way. His, his voice ain't that deep. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, can see, you, can, you can say that for others. I don't mean fake, fake, tough, fake, tough guy. What I call him. Uh, Marcus Smart got hands. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. That's another, that's another dude. He be set tripping in the middle of the game. Marcus Smart does. Uh, does. Y'all think, y'all think wrong. Now, here's a weird one. Here's a weird one. Do you think Gary Trent got hands, Ty? That's your boy. You like Gary no, Trent. Oh, but I wouldn't mess with Gary Trent. I wouldn't. He got that look in his eyes. Like, I ain't even finna. I feel like on a, I feel like on a low, he'll swing on you. Can yeah. You? I, he's one of them dudes I ain't even finna. Pro. Like, if you talk, if you like, a, if you're a serial trash talking NBA, I'm not finna say nothing to Gary Trent. I'm not finna say nothing to him. Oh. But, uh. Dame, Dame, Dame definitely got hands. Oh, Dame for sure. Dame, Dame, Dame. For sure. Russ, probably. Russ, go ahead, y'all. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna talk about him in a second, but Russ, y'all just y'all would never. He's a tough Russ. Russ, Russ, is, Russ is Russ is Russ is Russ is a tough guy. He's quick, but I feel like you can make him mad enough to where you can just swing on him and knock his ass out. <laughs> he's easy. He's easy. He's easy. You can you can you, you can you just, can tire him. You can if you can if you can fight and you against him and you can and you know what you're doing. You can tire him out. And just keep making him swing. I don't know. I'm be honest. I think I think Russ got hands. I was just playing. I think Russ can knock somebody out. Yeah, I, I think. I'm so. being honest. Yeah. I was just playing. Look at him. Blake. Blake sounded like he had somebody had another name in there. I was thinking about. Um, I said. I said Rob Williams. He too tall. Mm. Some guys are too tall for me to even want to fight. Low key, I wouldn't fuck with. We Rob. not naming. We not naming seven. We not naming seven footers. I really go bears one. No, I, I, I throw are, out people though. People are dumb enough to try. You know, people are dumb enough to try and pick fights with them. So yeah, people pick fights with really go bears. That's all the time. Yeah, yeah. But now I'm saying you pick fight with a seven footer. They're not fighting you back. They just go pick you up and throw you or something or just oh, uh, with your face. Anthony Edwards. Nah, I, I don't see. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, nah, I he don't. don't I feel like he would never even get in a fight, bro. He just too much of a funny person. I feel like yeah. he had never. Get in that situation. He was. I don't know why popular, I feel like that. he was clearly always a popular kid at every school, so I doubt he really had. Yeah, yeah. He, he probably never had. That's, that's one thing I like about him. He, he ain't really like a you know. He a, he, a, he seemed like a fun dude. Yeah, Edwards is a dope person. Plus, he was here around, he was hilarious. Yeah. When that lady asked him, "Oh, how many sports do you good at?" He said, "Swimming, uh, Swim. table tennis. I, I'm good at." It. It's the it's the accent, bro. <laughs> that, that, the Atlanta accent that makes it so much more funny, bro. Remember that freestyle? And it's it's, it's yeah, it's a particular particular hey, video say, of him. Uh, what do you say, Ty? This this real rap. I don't, I don't, he know, said, what I don't, I don't know. He's this real rap. I don't know what Dame. I don't know what he's talking about. But it's real rap. I rap like little baby. I was like, oh lord, <laughs> that's they boy. They he love. Say I rap like little baby. No, that's, uh, that, uh, uh, I don't know if y'all remember, but that that uh, that story. I don't even know if that's true or not. That Benny Hanna story when they said he brought um he had brought like some gumbo to warm up and he spilled it all over all over the uh all over the worst for call it. That who can't brings be true. Food to a restaurant, <laughs> like who does that? But who? For, no, but who brings food to Benny Hunters? It's like expensive food. Oh my god! You go in there for the food. You gonna bring your? All right, all right. <laughs> he brought gumbo. Word they god. said he brought a big old pan of gumbo to warm up, and he <laughs> spilled it all over the thing. What a guy! What a guy! No, nah, but I was saying you all remember you ever seen the video of him reacting to a certain Cardi B video? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Can't, can't, he, was like, he, he was like he he was like he was like wait play that again. He said ding 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 ding. <laughs> um. Oh uh, yeah, he funny. And can we blame him? <laughs> <laughs> Next, yeah. Continue, continue. Yeah, I think I think those are I think as far as guys in the NBA who throw the fade, those are probably the most premier guys, and there are just dudes who just don't need to. Because they've already established themselves. Like, no one's finna. I mean, unless you're Isaiah Stewart, nobody's finna catch the fade. Well, I can't say that because people have definitely tried LeBron. Um, so I can't even say that. There are guys. Yeah, Isaiah Stewart. Yeah. I don't feel like he can. I don't think he can fight like that. I'm being. Who, LeBron? He, no, I'm talking about Isaiah, Isaiah Stewart. Stewart. I don't think he can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was He was extra. That was extra. That was extra as hell. That was very yeah. extra. Very, yeah. Straight up outburst. It was a big time outburst. No, LeBron is. Yeah. I don't think yeah, LeBron outburst. is like a. I think LeBron could hold his own, but I don't think he just go flat up knock nobody out. Yeah, and also I think he just knows if he goes ape shit crazy, then like can't nobody stop him because he's like he's mm-hmm. still one of the most physically. Um, what's what I'm looking for? Um, gifted, 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 gifted guys in all the sports to be that tall and that bulk, bulky and that quick and all of that. You know, so anybody finna try that nigga? He the weird thing about him is he looks smaller with with his jersey on. He looks like. Huge, but yeah. without his jersey on, he he doesn't look that big. That's very true. That's very true. Like he looks of? he looks like, yeah, he looks like skinny and like cut without his jersey on. But with his jersey on, he looks like a 
or like a WWE wrestler or something. Yeah, tight, tight, tight clothes make you look bigger. I'm not gonna cap. Yeah, you know about that, don't you? I'm just playing. No, I do be. I ain't gonna lie. To you. Yeah, no, <laughs> it do. It does. Tight clothes do make you look bigger, bro. Boy, yeah. Tabby wearing a uh, extra small. I'm saying if you wear like like if they're like tight and black, or like a black. That's shirt, true. That's true. Black That's very true. Um, Carl, you guys got another signing. The Lakers just got Dennis yes. Schroeder, got him on a one year deal for two point sixty four million. Still, still thinking about that contract that he hey. turned down a couple years ago. Uh, but hey, wow. we basically we basically got him on an MLE. Yeah, mid level exception. Almost like what's mid level exception? Like one point five, somewhere, somewhere around like that. one, somewhere there, somewhere around there. Yeah, but it's easy. I'm be honest, it's easy to look back and say. It's easy to look back and say um, he missed out on this contract. He should have did this. He should have did that. He thought the market was way higher for him. Mm-hmm. It's easy to say that now because he didn't get what he wanted. Yeah. But looking back at it, I he probably should have taken it. Obviously, but I don't think it was crazy that he didn't take it because he just read the he just read the market wrong. Mm-hmm. I feel like that happens. So yeah. I, I think it's I don't think he should be getting made fun of on like a serious level like that. Yeah. It was bad. He yeah, fumbled his agent fumbled yeah. it. 